Welcome guys. So welcome guys. So this video, uh, let's talk about this uh, integration, uh, which is a very common that people like to ask. So zero from infinity, one minus this. Okay, so uh, one uh, two trivial example that we uh, we already encounter is this is arctangent, right? So answer will be uh, pi over two, and another is the one over x to the q uh, x force dx. Uh, this is a famous one that we already encounter. So by the formula, we will get the uh, uh, we will get the uh, n is 4, right? So pi over 4 and the uh, sine pi over 4, which is uh, uh, this, this guy. Okay, so uh, that, uh, that uh, we already uh, we already encounter uh, these two. Okay, so the next is that we prove the general one. Okay, so that's we will use the complex analysis. Okay, so if you know about the gamma function that uh, you can use the gamma function, but we use a complex analysis. So consider f to be uh, f z to be one plus z to n one, and uh, consider the shape uh, from zero to radius r, and uh, this. Okay, so this shape. Okay, so our contour will be this, this, and this. So one, two, three, and uh, this angle. Let's choose uh, two pi divided by n. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's, and then there's a only pole here, so uh, it's easy to check that the pole is if z is z0 is exponential pi i divided by n, because uh, z to z0 to n will be exponential pi i, which is negative 1. So z0 will be maybe here, right, because this is the angle, this is twice the angle, right, so this is the only pole. Okay, so let's uh, let's see uh, what we get. What we will get. Okay, so the first section, the first one is uh, zero to r. So let's take r to be infinity. So you get zero to infinity, f of x dx, uh, which is what we want. And then let's talk about the third. Okay, and the third will be what? The third will be the same as one, right? But the difference is that uh, we will let z equals to exponential pi i two pi divided by n at times x. So one plus z n is exponential two pi i x n one d z right. So it's exponential two pi i divided by n d x, and then from uh, infinity to zero. Okay, so you see these terms are same as this term, right? The only difference there is a multiple. Uh, there is a multiple. Okay. Now uh, we take the second. So second is a radius, right? A radius, uh, radius one, and they calculate it. Okay, so the easy exercise is to show that uh, this arc, this arc part, arc, will be zero. Okay, so uh, maybe not so easy. Uh, I think it's easy, right? Because uh, this guy is less than uh, r to n, and the uh, dz will be exponential i theta. So the you will let z equal to exponential i r r i theta. So uh, exponential i r i r i theta. Sorry. What I'm writing about. So your z will be this. Okay, so you get r n and the dz, right? dz will be r is going to i theta d theta. Okay, so it will, it will become zero, right? As r goes to infinity. Okay, so you don't uh, you don't care about a second. Okay, so let's delete it. So the first, the in your integration is one two three, one plus two zero plus three equals to two pi i. Uh, residue of f of z when z is exponential z zero, right? Z is sorry, it's nice, but z is equals z zero, which is exponential pi i divided by n. Okay, so these two parts, uh, addition is zero to infinity, one plus x n dx. So this term is the same. This term contains uh, additional factor and uh, infinity to zero, so it's minus exponential two pi i divided by n. Equals to uh, z zero, right? So let's take a uh, residue. So residue is very easy. You just uh, z times z zero divided by, uh, divided by uh, uh, one plus z to n, and the limit z goes to z zero. So you can use La Pito row. You get uh, two pi i and z and z zero minus one. Okay. So we got two pi i and z zero and minus one. Okay. 
So final, the, our final answer will be zero to infinity dx one plus x to n equals to two pi i divided by n z zero n minus one divided by uh yeah so divided by uh one plus this one two pi i. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is the, so the final is that we just need to manipulate, okay? And then remember that this video is exponential pi i divided by n. So I can write as 2 pi i and so n minus 1, right? So it becomes n minus 1 and so let's see. So let's, let's for, we'll notice that z0 n is minus 1, right? So that means z0 n minus 1 times z0 is minus 1. So z0, 1 over z0 minus 1 will be minus z0 uh, let me just write down so 1 minus z0 and minus 1 will be minus z0 so it's uh minus z0 1 minus is to 2 pi i divided by n okay and what is z0 is least right so let's uh, become 2 pi i uh minus right and then z0 divided so we can uh, minus is this much minus negative pi i divided by n minus is much pi i divided by n. Okay. So finally, uh, you change the minus sign to be two pi i become n is much pi i divided by n is more minus is more negative pi i divided by n. This and then use your identity is uh, let's recall identity is that exponential. Uh, i x minus is equal to i x divided by two i will be sine x. So this guy will be two i sine pi i divided by n times n. So finally, let's delete two pi to or pi is still i i cancel. So finally, you get pi divided by n sine pi i. Not my pi sorry sine i pi divided by n. no pi here. Uh, no i here right because there's i here. Yeah, so no i here. So finally, you get this. Okay, so calculation is a little bit lengthy, but the idea is that you pick a contour and then pick a little only pole here. So you get the, uh, I think you once you get this identity, then you're enough to, uh, you're, in, you're just write down all the details. Okay, so very easy. See you guys next videos.